Hi, I'm Claire, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot. So you need to get your clay ready in a ball, and you need... So with your ball of clay, you put your finger in it to make a hole, and then you put your thumb in with your fingers on the outside, and you start to squeeze, gently squeeze the clay as you're turning the ball of clay around and so that you're starting to make the clay wall. So what you're doing is you're squeezing um, and you're trying to make it really even. And as you're turning it round and round, eventually you'll be starting to make the pot become bigger and bigger and the walls of the pot become thinner and thinner. So what you've got to try and do is try and keep the walls of an even consistency. So just keep on doing that, just keep on working with it. And with your sense of touch, you'll be able to tell which bits need to be squeezed a little bit more than other bits. It might take a little bit of practice, but you can keep practicing until you get really good at it. As it gets bigger, you can actually get your fingers right into the pot on the inside. And that'll help you to um, make, make the shape that you want it to be. So just keep on doing this until you get to the shape that you are happy with. This is a serrated kidney and this is a smooth kidney and I'm going to use the serrated kidney to scrape out some of the bumps on the pot. Um, there you'll see some lines and then with the smooth kidney you go over the lines to get them out and then it helps to make the pot nice and smooth. I actually left the pot out overnight from when I made the pinch pot because I needed it to dry out quite a lot more. So it's dried out to the sort of consistency that you call leather hard and it's really easy to work on it now with the serrated kidneys to get the surface nice and smooth. You can get the serrated kidneys and the smooth kidneys from any pottery store online or you could just get a hacksaw blade and, and snap it into a, a small size and that has a serrated edge on one side and a smooth edge on the other. Oh, there's my dog, he's just joining me. So yeah, you could use a hacksaw blade for doing this as well. Okay, I've just turned it over and just scraping it on the bottom to make it nice and smooth. And then you can also put the kidneys onto the inside of the pot and scrape around to make the inside nice and smooth as well. Okay, so now I'm just tidying up the top. So I'm just scraping it. You can either do it like this. Oh, that little bit there is a bit of the reinforcement that's been put into the clay and that's why it's air dry. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I've got the top nice and straight and now I've got a, sp a sponge and I'm just going to go over the pot. This is just to finish it off because the sponge will make it extra smooth. And with a paintbrush, I'm just getting out all the little bits of clay that are, that are stuck at the bottom of the pot. So that's the easiest way to get them out. And all those little bits of, of clay, I'm putting them onto a damp cloth and then I'm just sponging the outside just to make it nice and smooth and a bit more on the inside. And there we have it. So there is the pinch pot that's finished. So now all you need to do is just let it stand for a couple of days so that it dries. And then after that, you can paint it however you, you would like. What I'm doing now is I'm just all the little bits of clay that I've taken off, wrap them into a wet cloth put the wet cloth into a plastic bag and then the, the clay will go all nice and soft again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching the video.